Happy Sunday evening, young readers and future leaders of McDuffie County. Mr. Eric back again with another installment of Mr. Eric Reads. As always, guys, if you have friends um, that are not yet following, subscribed, or liking the Facebook page, please encourage them to do so so that we can con uh, continue promoting literacy across McDuffie County and get our young folks very interested and in love with reading early on. Uh, tonight, we've got a book by Coy Bowles, who's a member of the Zach Brown Band, and he wrote this book called Behind the Little Red Door. Very good book, and I hope that you'll enjoy it as well. Let's find out what happens. What's behind the little red door? The one in the corner, next to the floor. There's a world in there I'd like to explore. So what's behind the little red door? I wonder if it's a place to store small boxes or does it open to a field of flying red foxes? If I use my imagination, it could be anything. There could be dancing frogs and ducks that sing, and the bees would buzz, but they would not sing. Everything in there could be big and blue, like a big blue fish with big blue shoes, or a big blue moose reading big blue news. Maybe it's silly behind the little red door with silly vegetable dinosaurs, like a tomatosaurus rex or a broccolio raptor. And I could play songs that they would clap for. Or it might be a room that's upside down and everything on the ceiling is now on the ground. Perhaps it's a door to outer space with moons and planets and stars we can chase. Does it smile and have feelings just like me? Like me, does it skip and climb every tree and run on the sand and swim in the sea? I'll say hello and we can be friends and then our adventures will never end. Let's count to four and open the door. One, two, three, four. What's behind the little red door? What kind of world do you want to explore? The end. Again, guys, What's Behind the Little Red Door by Koi Bowles. Um, all about taking the next step using our imagination and thinking of things that could be. I hope that you enjoyed tonight's story. Um, I just want to remind everybody that if you have a favorite book and if you want it read here tonight or on any night, rather, please let me know. I've already had a couple people tell me um, certain books that they'd like to hear. Um, they've been added to the list and they will be coming out shortly. Uh, thank you again for tuning in. I'm very excited because tomorrow's Monday, which means I get to see you guys in the hallways.